Do you have any idea about this illustration? If you think of a bond, you're right. It is a number bond. Number bond. Number bond helps students to visualize that numbers can be broken to make computation easier. They show how numbers join together and break down into component parts. Have you found difficulty in solving large numbers? Explore number bonds. It will be easier for you later on. Today, let's practice the number bonds applied in addition and subtraction. Let's do some activities. In general, a number bond refers to a pictorial representation of a part-part-whole relationship. What does it mean by a part-part-whole relationship? This means that a whole can be broken down into pieces such as the parts, or the parts can be combined to make up the whole. In this case, the numbers that bond to 10 are 4 and 6. In addition and subtraction, a number bond is a simple addition method of two numbers that add up to give the sum. Going back to the part-part-whole relationship, the parts are the numbers that bonds to the whole. Therefore, 4 and 6 are the parts that bonds to 10. Another example, 8. We can break down 8 to 6 and 2, so we can combine 6 and 2 to make 8. 14. The numbers that bond to 14 are 8 and 6, so we can combine 8 and 6 to make 14. Number bond has its corresponding fact family. Fact family is a collection of related addition and subtraction facts or multiplication and division facts made from the same numbers. Now let's explore number bond and fact family. The number that bond to 8 are 6 and 2. So we can combine 6 and 2 to make 8. Its corresponding fact family are this. 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. Then 2 plus 6 is also equal to 8. In reverse, 8 minus 2 is equal to 6. 8 minus 6 is equal to 2. Now look how the relationship of addition and subtraction is being shown in the fact family. These two also explains the commutative property of addition. Whether the order is changed, the value is still the same. Another example, the numbers that bond to 12 are 8 and 4, so we can combine 8 and 4 to make 12. Then its corresponding fact family are this, 8 plus 4 equals 12, 4 plus 8 equals 12. In reverse, 12 minus 8 equals 4. 12 minus 4 equals 8. 9. The number that bonds to 9 are 4 and 5. So we can combine 4 and 5 to make 9. Its fact family are 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. 5 plus 4 is also equal to 9. 9 minus 4 is equal to 5. Then 9 minus 5 is equal to 4. I guess you already have enough knowledge, then let's go to our activity. Fill in the missing numbers. The numbers that bond to 7 are 2 and what number? If you think that it's 5, then you're right. What about its fact family? So we have 2 plus mm, what number you are going to add to 2 to make 7? That is 5. Right. What about this? Blank plus 2 equals 7. Yes, it's 5. Let's do the reverse. 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. Yes, that's right. Then, 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. Perfect! What about this? What do you think are the numbers that bond to 5? 2 and 3. That's right. Then, its corresponding fact family are 2 plus 3 is equal to 5, and 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. In reverse, 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. Then, 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. The last one. Oh, the whole is missing, and the part are given. So, we have 4 and 7. We can combine that to make 11. Yes, that's right, 11. Then, 4 plus 7 is equal to, of course, it's equal to 11. And 
7 plus 4 is also equal to 11. So 11 minus 4 is equal to 7. And 11 minus 7 is equal to 4. All right. Oh, what are the numbers that bond to 10? Think about it. Do this as your homework. Provide the numbers that bond to 10 and provide the fact family. Good luck! If you find this video helpful, then please give me a thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell to keep updated for my new uploads. Thanks for watching!